Hello everybody and welcome to Artistic Zeal Productions. Uh, today we're doing a, a quick tutorial on how to uh, recreate somebody falling from a plane or skydiving. Uh, so it looks a little bit more realistic. Uh, what I did was I, uh, I am creating a music video for our local, a local band called The Realist. And uh, in this short, I've got Jason and Billy that are jumping out of a plane and it looks like they're free falling. It looks kind of like this. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit campy. That's what we want the look. It's not Mission Impossible, you know. Uh, so they're jumping out of a plane without a parachute. So we wanted to recreate a look, kind of a old cinema. So we did it in black and white. Uh, you can see some of the behind the scenes here. We got Billy getting ready to jump out of our plane. So you can see our plane is actually a box from an old uh, couch that uh, was purchased. We just painted it green along with the back green screen, and we have them jumping out. He gets thrown out and Jason follows right behind. All right. Lots of fun. So let's get to it really quick here. So once you shoot your footage, uh, as you can see, we have Jason here. He's on his knees and I have him with a green screen behind. Now, very important, you want to make sure that your subject is far away from the green screen and you have your green screen well lit. As you can see, we have a lot of shadows. He's really close to the green screen, so it made it difficult to key him out easily and cleanly. Uh, so that's uh, kind of a trial and error. Uh, but I'll show you what we did, especially since we're shooting it in black and white. Since we're shooting it in black and white, it makes it a little bit easier to, uh, it, it's a little bit more forgiving. So let's go ahead and uh, key out some of the key out some of this and create a mask. So you can see we have a bunch of junk here. We want to get rid of it. So we're going to go to our pen tool, and I'm going to go right above where his uh, shirt is, and I'm going to start keying him out. I'm sorry. I'm going to start creating a mask around him. Okay. So that's our first mask. Let me make these points a little bit closer here. About that back one. So now we're going to go over to our effect. We're going to go to keying. We're going to go to key light and select our dropper and pick a color right around there. As you can see, it keys it out fairly well, a little bit too well because now our, our subject is transparent, a little bit transparent. So the way I can clean that up, you can make adjustments on your green, but it might adjust the amount of green that's around to create a halo. So all you can, do, uh, one of the things you can do is hit Control D and duplicate it and that will fill in and makes it look a little bit better. Now let's hide these two and go to the bottom portion. So you can see here that we have legs spreading open and then they lean up. So let's create a mask around his waist. And let's see. Kicks, looks pretty clean. A little bit of movement okay so let's key it out so again back to effect keying go to key light put your dropper click on there again it's a little bit too transparent for me select your layer control D duplicates it and now you have the two okay now the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to pre-compose the top portion and the bottom portion. So let's start with the bottom, go up to layer, pre-compose. So it's going to put those two together. And then let's go to the top ones. I'm going to be able to see them. Go to layer, pre-compose. So let's go ahead and adjust our footage, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. So we go over to our transform, click on the rotation here, and we're going to put 90 degrees, hit enter. And we're going to do the same thing with the bottom. We go to transform, rotation at 90 degrees, hit enter. And then we're going to match them up. So if I go to the top and I'm going to move him over, go to the bottom and move that position back and a little bit higher. Let me see here. Too high. Okay. 
right about there. So you can see now that it's combined. You might have to adjust it a little bit so you can see that it it's not exactly even. So if I need to move it down, we can on the bottom we could put a point on there and then adjust the size so we can move it down a little bit. So that way it kind of moves where it's supposed to. That looks a little bit too high for me. So now let's move it back up a little bit. So you're going to tweak it a little bit as you go. So that way it, it looks a little bit more realistic. So it matches his body and his movements. So once again, we're going to bring it down. And that'll be our, our work area here. OK. Now the other thing that we did is uh, we have some clouds that are flying by. So you can always add and adjust however you'd like. So these clouds, what I did was I keyed out the blue. So I go to um, Effect, Keying, again with our key light. I'm going to select the blue. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And then I'm also going to add a new layer. I'm going to add a new solid. So, And it's going to be like a, a kind of a grayish tint to it. Because again, we're going to make this black and white. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to move that to the bottom here. So it adds, uh, you know, it makes it a little bit more, more uh, easier to kind of hide the junk that we have going on in here. Now we're also going to make uh, blur out some of our footage here. So I'm going to go to our clouds, and I'm going to go to effect, and I'm going to select blur and sharpen. We're going to go to fast blur, and I'm going to blur it out a little bit. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer a couple of times. And we're going to do several things with it. We're going to rotate them out and make them move. So if you hit the comma on your keyboard, you can zoom out a little bit. So the first one we're going to do is I'm going to change that to pink. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to make it really, really big. OK. So basically you're going to have these clouds kind of swooshing past them as you can see so we're going to make them make it really big and we're going to put a a movement we're going to go to our position here go to transform position a keyframe I'm going to move that keyframe to the to the very front and then at the very end now depending how fast you want things to be flying by if you want it really fast let's say three seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and grab it and move this in this kind of upwards direction now as you can see if you want them to be flying sideways or a certain direction that's the way you're gonna do it but we're gonna go straight up you see how it kind of uh, cuts off here we're gonna also add a mask to that so if you go to the ellipse tool if you double click it it makes a nice little ellipse on there. Now we're going to go over to our mask of that ellipse and we're going to have a mask expansion. You're going to bring it in a little bit and then you're going to feather it out. So it kind of makes it blend out nicely. Okay. So what that does is it gives that look like clouds are, are just flying past them. Now Again, because of that green screen, it makes a little halo. So I'm going to adjust every single layer on here to be black and white. So I'm going to go to Layer, New, and a new adjustment layer. And what happens is when you do something to this adjustment layer, it'll affect everything below it. So we're going to go ahead back to Effect, Color Correction, and then we're going to select black and white. And what that does is it makes everything black and white. And Jason's going to be a little, it's a little bit too sharp also, and we're going to adjust that as well. But for right now, let's stick with the clouds. So we have the clouds swishing by, and we're going to go to our second cloud here. We're going to make that a different size, and we're going to go ahead and also 
invert it to a different direction. So we go to layer, transform. We're going to flip it to be, um, we're going to flip it horizontally. So it goes to the opposite side. And then we're going to adjust again the size of that. It's not going to be exactly the same size. And we're going to move it to one corner, let's say. And we can actually have it sort of like this. Now I had an ellipse tool. I'm going to make a rounded uh, box on this one. Same concept as the other one. We're going to go ahead and adjust the mask on that. We're going to go into our expansion, bring it in a little bit, and then we're going to feather it out so it blends. So now we have that one too. We're going to uh, make a position. Uh, so our mask path, we're going to, not our mask, but I'm sorry, our movie. So we're going to transform, hit a position, drag that to the front again. I'm sorry, right about the three seconds where the uh, the other the other one ends. And then we're going to move forward. And we're going to move that guy straight up. Same thing for the third one. So now we're going to go over to our last movie here. Go to um, light him up. And we're going to make this one a little bit less, a little bit smaller in size, like so. We're going to put, again, a transform. We're going to go put a position. Let's add the mask that we had last time. So we're going to double click on it, put some mask on it. We're going to go to back to the mask, adjust the expansion, bring it in a little bit and then feather it out. Okay. And now we can go ahead and move this movie down a little bit to where the other one left off. Then we're going to move forward and we're going to go ahead and move that up. Okay. Let's go ahead and Duplicate, uh, actually pre-compose these three. I'm going to go to layer, pre-compose, put moving clouds. Okay, let's duplicate that. Let's move that behind Jason. Let's adjust the size of that one again. So we're going to have different clouds going by. And we're going to move the position on that too. So we're going to go to transform, add a position, move that to the front. I clicked on it, so it's going to be at the beginning. And then we're going to move it up. So there's going to be all this movement of clouds swishing, whooshing by them. Okay, let's just do it halfway here. All right. So you can see there's all kinds of clouds going past them. Now the last thing that we want to do, we don't, um, we want to go ahead and uh, uh, have Jason move around a little bit. If he's standing, if he's still there, is going to uh, not really sell the the fact that he's moving around. We're also going to add a, a camera. So we go to layer, new camera. 50 millimeters okay. We understand that it has to be 3D objects. We're going to go ahead and make our um, selected 3D cube here for for everything here, all of our all of our footage here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and select our camera z-axis movement. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, and then we're going to go to Jason. And we're going to adjust several things from him. So the scale, we're going to bring it down a little bit. And we're going to put a position for everything. Let's move him to the beginning here. Now we're going to go ahead and move him every few seconds. So click away, then we're going to go to a position. You can move him around, bring him down, and uh, adjust the scale a little bit. And we're also going to add a blur effect. So let's go back to effect, blur and sharpen.
go to fast blur fast fast blur is not always the best thing to use but it makes it really really quick and easy to do so we're going to add a keyframe for that i'm going to move this guy back this way and i'm going to just blur him out a little bit and move it back a little bit more and sharpen him back up so what happens is as the as he moves around we're going to move the camera around too but uh, we're going to make adjustments to the the camera lens basically so it looks like as he's coming in and out he's uh, becoming a little bit fuzzy so I'm gonna go back a couple frames some page if you pay, hit page up it moves you back a little bit I'm gonna blur it out go page forward a couple more and adjust it back so now it'll make it look uh, like the camera blurs in and out as he's moving around let's do that again so let's move him here for a second we're gonna go page down a couple and then I'm gonna move him quickly up and back and I'm gonna scale him up a little bit so what happens is is a quick drop so you can see it and then we're gonna drop them again so we're gonna go position a little bit this way page down a couple and then really really let them drop And let's adjust the, the focus too. So we're gonna blurry, we're gonna put in uh, move it a little bit, go page down a little bit, and then make it focus again, blur it out a little bit, focus again. So what that's doing is just again just making a little bit more movement in there as he's as he's falling. I'm just going to duplicate these guys just to make it a little faster. You can always clean it up and adjust it however you like, but this is this just adds a little bit uh, of movement. Now the camera also, if we go to our camera drop down, hit go to transform. We're going to select a point there, and what we're going to do is, as as things are going on, we're going to move in, go a couple page. Uh, page up a little okay, page down a little bit and then zoom just readjust every every few frames same thing with the camera because it's going to move the clouds too let's zoom back a little bit now because he's a little bit uh, out of frame we want to make sure you keep them in frame and then zoom in a little bit so you get the idea so you can see that he's moving around things are flying past him he's he's dropping and moving uh, of course you're gonna clean this up a little bit better than I did here but this is just a quick tutorial so that way you have an idea how to make it look like he's He's moving his legs around and clouds are swooshing past him and he's flying down and it looks a little bit more realistic than it just landing on the on the uh, on a table or on the ground. So uh, that's it for us. And thanks again for watching. If uh, if you'd like to see some of the other tutorials, check out my channel or at Artistic Zeal and also please subscribe so that way uh, you can get the newest and greatest that's going on. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.